Hi guys. Uh, today I'm going to be help. I'm going to be showing you how to make the blow dart gun. Um, so, for the materials you're going to need are a PVC pipe. It doesn't matter what size really, but the, a good size to use would be a half inch. So that's the size I'm going to be using. At least I, I think it's half inch. Um, you don't need to worry about this because they're really cheap to buy from the uh, from Home Depot or wherever you can buy them from. And uh, don't worry about cutting them. I have a special cutter, but you can, you can have them cut it at Home Depot if you need to. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Oh wait, I didn't, I didn't name off all of them. So you're going to need PVC pipe around half inch size. You're going to need PVC pipe cutters if you have them. Duct tape if you want your PVC pipe to look cool, your blow dart gun. Tape. Some kind of nails. I'm using two different kinds in this one. Uh, a hot glue gun or glue. And you're going to need at least one sheet of paper, depending on how many darts you want to make. So, we're going to go ahead and start with the dart gun. I have a long one, so I'm just going to cut it in half and make two out of it. Uh, I don't know how long this is, but it should be fine. I'm going to cut it around the center. I don't know where that's going to be, but that feels like a short one. It feels kind of short. I don't know. What do you think, Tanner? I don't know. Is that good? And you could, you could just make one, and then yours you could find. We could find. We could look for yours. I'm gonna cut it around there. That seems to be the balance. So I'm gonna put a piece of tape on there to measure it. I mean, to put it there. You know where to cut it. To that way. So that way I can. I forgot how to use this exactly. Okay. I got it. I got it. Where's the tape? Okay. Take the tape off. Here, I'll, I'll put it up here so you can see. There we go. By the way, if you're wondering my why mine looks so weird, it's because I've already used this PVC pipe and had a lot of duct tape on it. So yeah, just, just if you're wondering, they're around the same size, and they're about the right length. So, the next part you're going to do, you're going to just to, uh, to um, make this so that it looks good, you're going to basically, to conserve duct tape, I should say, you're going, and it looks a lot nicer because you don't see a lot of those lines. You're just gonna lock, make a long strip down. This. Okay. Now I'm gonna make them level. Should I cut? No, it's fine. Okay. You just keep doing what you're doing. Okay. And then if you want it to have a nice smooth surface so that it doesn't have any wrinkles. You can just rock it like that. Oops. Oh, it's got to look a lot more professional if you really do care. For me, I really don't care, so I'm just going to do this. See how it has wrinkles right here at the top here? Okay, so then we're going to do that again. It needs at least two strips. Well, you don't have to decorate yours. It just look, makes it look awesome. <laughs> and also, I will be putting a link in the description of whose idea this originally was. Once again, it is the King of Random. Because he's awesome. 
And so yeah, uh, I will be doing that. I'll put that in the description for you. I get a lot of uh, things from him, like the uh, the blow dart gun. I mean, not the blow dart gun. That's what I'm making right now. The uh, bottle blaster. I got that from him also. You can find the bottle blaster in another project video on my YouTube page. Okay, make sure it looks pretty good. Just get it all tight. It's, it's just as much as you want. You can make it as long as you want. Doesn't matter. I'm going for shorter this time because that's just I could just find it. And but you are going to need your dart gun made before and before you can make the darts. Okay, now that that's done, um, we're gonna go ahead and make the darts. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need, you're still gonna need the scissors and the tape, the duct tape, and the pipe cutter. You don't need, but you do need your newly made dart gun. Okay, uh, you can put attachments on this gun. Uh, they will be in the. They will. You can find out how to do that in the video description of who made this originally, the King Random. He, uh, he put a laser on his, and he made it so you can have darts on the gun, but I'm not going to do that, because I don't need to. I think it's just a waste of time, but you can do it if you want. For this, I'm, not, I'm only going to make six bullets, so you don't need very much paper. Honestly, this is a lot. Right here, this, just, this piece. You're just basically going to turn it into a kind of cone shape, like that. Okay. And you're going to tape it. Okay. And then you're going to put it on your finger, like that, kind of like a hat. And you're going to put it like that. And you're going to twist it. And what that does is it creates a line around the paper. And what you're going to do is you're going to fold it right there. You're going to fold the paper and you're going to cut on that line. And that, you basically already have a dart now. Now this can fit into the gun. And it can come out. But you see it doesn't fly very well. So what we need to do is now we need to add the nail and the hot glue. So you're going to put the nail in the thing, you're going to poke it hole, poke it through the top. And leave a little bit of room so it has wiggle room. And you're just going to fill it, not all the way, because you still need air to be able to push it. And you're going to just fill most of it with hot glue. And you're going to let that dry. I'm just going to let that dry, and the way I'm going to do that, I'm just going to stick it in my duct tape, probably, if I can. Does that work? No, it's not working. Here, Tanner, will you hold that? Yeah. And then we're just going to make another one. So with this, I'm just going to detach this part and make another one out of the same square so I can conserve paper. So one sheet of paper will make you a lot of darts. So this is a very cheap project. You don't even need duct tape for this to put around the dart gun. I just did because I like how it looks. And you're just going to repeat the process over and over until you have all the darts you want. 